sleepwear. It's designed to be sexy and comfy. So why waste all that fun on sleep? We shouldn't. It's ladylike, and I'm gonna turn nightgowns into daywear. A few things about nightgowns. We've reached the part of the year, about September, October, where the clothes that we are being sold in stores do not match the weather. In the store, it's like, wear this sweater. And outside, it's like, would you like to sweat? I have come up with a solution for this. I am going to buy nightgowns, chemises, teddies, whatever they're called, I don't know. Little flimsy things you wear at night. But I feel like this might be a way to get a spaghetti strap dress in the middle of September when everyone thinks I'm gonna be wearing tights. Another thing that motivated me to do this is when we did the video in March where we went to New Orleans and we went to a vintage clothing shop, the one thing that fit me really well that was beautiful was a 1960s nightgown. Oh, there's so much glamor and so much comfort and so much sexiness that we're wasting with the nighttime. Why not bring that into the daytime? Day gown. When we were in college, we were like, let's wear pajamas all the time. And then all of a sudden, everybody gets a college degree and decides that's no longer acceptable. Well, guess what? I'm gonna be wearing lingerie in the office. Today, I'm gonna go to the store and then I'm gonna get two cool looks that are based on nighttime sleepwear. I'm also gonna see whether or not people can guess if I am wearing a nightgown. They probably won't. Gonna go get some nightgowns, gonna go down tonight, gown town. Boop, boop, doop, 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 boop. I'm not actually getting anywhere in these shots. I'm just walking back and forth in the office parking lot. I just went to a store that I haven't been to in a while and it turns out it doesn't exist anymore. I thought this was a cute clutch. It's a bra. For some reason, this nightgown thinks my boobs should be even wider set than they are. Like one boob should be here and one boob should be like off the coast of Florida. I look like a journalist going back to a 90s high school to finally get kissed. So this feels like a bathrobe, but if you tie it around the back, maybe it's a duster. Anything that's too small for me automatically becomes a vest. It's a rule. I don't understand why it's so hard to find plus size sleepwear and clothes. Like, you don't want us to be nude? You don't want us to wear clothes? What do you want me to do with my body? I went to store one, but I only got like some stuff. I'm also like trying to find things that I could convince people reasonably are outfits. Cause part of the fun of this video is tricking people. To the next store, we're gonna go to more stores till we find what we want and then we're gonna stop. Or maybe not, who knows? The top print says business professional. Uh, the bottom says you can see my butt. You're not fooling anyone, nightgown. We know you are a dress. This is a dress. Lighting in here is dope though. You can tell it's a nightgown cause it's got that puffy paint texture. Although usually this puffy paint texture says something more like, mornings are crazy or but first, Coffee. I don't know what it is about people who think that everyone wants to sleep in dried paint. Cause sexy court is in session. Okay, so far I've been to a few stores and it seems like all the sleepwear sort of alternates between very sexy and some sort of complaint about not having slept. So the like the long shirt shift, it's like, coffee please, or I don't like anyone. Also, sorry accounting, I think I bought too many things. I'll return the ones I don't use. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we've, we're in prime nightgown territory. Gonna churn some butter. Yes. Look at this beauty. It kind of defeats the purpose of wearing it in summertime because obviously it's very cozy. I'm not a snack, I'm the whole picnic. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, from here up it's actually kind of cute. And then it sort of loses the thread the further away we get. I don't hate it. I mean, it's also like a little bit more sheer. Okay, this is a nightgown, but I could legit turn this into an outfit. It is very sheer though. I mean, I get it, You're, you know, no one's supposed to see you except special people. I could do something with this. And it's on clearance. Yes. I think with the right accessories, this is gonna shine like a little $10 star. So I'm leaving my last store and I'm actually feeling super inspired. I think we're gonna do this for real cheap. We're just gonna find accessories I own and make cute summer looks in the middle of September. So here is my outfit 
for day one. I thought I'd do a monochrome, a little pop of color on my toesies. I've been wearing pajamas for four hours and no one has noticed. Normal day. Oh, oh, hello. It's lingerie. Well, yeah, I mean, I like how when I approach someone with a the camera, they just kind of assume that they need to comment on my outfit. What else would I be commenting on? <laughs> Honestly, it works. I mean, it's a little odd today because it's overcast and cold in LA. You knew this is lingerie. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Not... Rose, suddenly an expert on women's lingerie. I mean, I work on ladylike. <laughs> it's a choice. Like, it's definitely, like, a statement. I don't know. I think it's really cute. It looks so cute. Thank you. I love it. It looks like a robe. Is it? It is a robe. Yeah, it's cute. This is all lingerie. Okay. This is like the scene from 13 going on 30 where she runs out into the New York City street wearing a negligee and looks perfect. Wait, so am I 13 or 30? You are <laughs> both. I know this is a nightgown. Oh, so you could tell right away it was a nightgown. Yes. Just know, you know what? The, the robe was the one that gave it off. And I like the robe tied a little because like, it accentuates your waist. That's what I thought too. But it does show that it is a robe. So yes. it's like, how much do you care? I love it. It looks like you were reclining after your former husband has passed away. <laughs> Can we talk about my outfit? That's nice. It's a nice outfit. I like it. Okay, I'm actually wearing like like nighties and nightgowns as clothes this week. Oh, that makes sense. That is that is what you were wearing. Yeah. I don't think you can tell they're pajamas necessarily. I think it just looks like a fun like little cardigan. If you hadn't clued me in that this was for a video, I actually wouldn't have guessed it. See, and that is what I wanted to accomplish. <laughs> I love the lace. Thank you. I was definitely checking out the lace earlier. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot, actually. One outfit down. Would I wear this outfit again? Probably. It's sort of like weirdly polished in sort of like an Italian funeral kind of way. Let's see if I can get away with it tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. I need to talk to you about my outfit. Because it's so feminine and so like... Ooh, like, I'm a napkin. You know what I mean? It's so <laughs> tiny. And the compliments just keep on coming. <laughs> you need to like jazz it up with like some leather or something that uh, adds oh structure. Oh my God, you're right. Like I should have, this is definitely a motor jacket. I should have worn a motor jacket with this and boots. Mm -hmm. Because I was just standing around being like. You looked lost. I know, I look like a girl who just been like shuttled out of her apartment building because there's a fire drill at three in the morning. <laughs> and then her hot neighbor is like, hi, and you're like, don't see me like this. And then you're like, well, I'll never find a man. Okay, I finally figured out how to style this nightgown according to Devin's hot tip. I'm gonna go see what people think. Jen, Jen, it's Jen. It's Jen. It's Jen. Jen, do you like my outfit? Yeah. I feel like I ask you this question about it's it. Nice. About a free outfit. This is a nightgown I found on clearance for ten dollaros. Oh, amazing! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, can you can you tell us the nightgown? No, I mean, you, it requires you. To, it requires you to look at my body. It honestly just looks like a dress. There is a little bit of a food stain on there. <laughs> is that makeup? It's because I got makeup on. I have like, here's the thing. Kristen knows better than to wear white. I know better than to wear white. I don't wear white anymore. You still wear white because you're brave. I get food and makeup and <laughs> all over my white stuff. I know. Well, I got makeup on it. She got makeup <laughs> on, on it. it. Yeah, it looks good though. It doesn't look like it. This is really close. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just look, I look terrible right now. I found Devin. We're gonna go see what Devin thinks of this outfit. What do you see? Yes. What yes. do you see? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, it's less little Laura Ingalls Wilder. It's more like, Laura went to college in the city. And are now you, she got her first job. Are you proud that your inspiration brought us here? I'm so proud. The moto jacket, the boots, yes. It's a little butch, it's a little Barbie. I'm into it. <laughs> So I feel like I wanted to test this theory that if you're in the hot months of September and October and there are no summer clothes to be purchased, you can still find some if you go to the nighty section. The white nightgown outfit, I think, more heavily relied on accessories, mostly because it was just kind of a plain white nightgown. But sometimes all you need for a good outfit is a plain canvas. I, for one, don't really go to many department stores. This is a place I wouldn't be looking for clothes. And I'm telling you, you should go look there. There be treats and then their racks. Also, there be laughs, cause like I did try on a lot of silly nightgowns. <laughs> Overall, I think both outfits were a success. Most offices probably won't let you wear lingerie to work, but you can wear them to cool parties or on dates 
or fun nightlife events, or hip restaurants, or avant-garde circuses, or whatever else it is you kids are doing. Wearing nightgowns as day wear. Lady tested. Lady can wear whatever she wants. So, be nice. Ha <laughs> ha!